Yes. Mm -hmm. I just want to uh, explain my understanding of national security. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Homeland Security would have the reciprocity agreements of the United States. Mm -hmm. And the only uh, marriages that the United States could dissolve, yes, would be uh, in the drop-down menu. Oh. Now, they probably did a lot of research on this 127 pages. Mm -hmm. But this county and this state dissolved a United Nations marriage certificate. <laughs> now, when I subpoena Homeland Security, yes, I'm going to ask them, yes, marital status, complete the following structure marriage, mm -hmm. since it wasn't a state. A city in the United States. Yes, it wasn't a county in the United States. It wasn't a state of the United States. And then they put country. Mm -hmm. But it's a drop down menu. Oh, it should only allow for, yes, uh huh, uh huh, uh, the reciprocity agreements of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Because there's more than one option. Yes. Now, the thought that you can dissolve that um, really violates national security. And I'm suing you for it. Because I've informed you that you did not have reciprocity. Mm -hmm. You do not have the authority of law to dissolve it. Yes. And I'd like to divorce my wife and have custody of my sons. Poop. Now, um, poop. provide your spouse's current address if different from your current address. Yeah. Uh, please uh, provide city and county if outside the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at 7.2, yes. Have you separated from your spouse? Mm -hmm. uh, if legally separated, provide location of the record. Mm -hmm. And then there's the, the divorce questions. Uh, continue complete following if it divorced, annulled, or widowed. Yes. My former spouse, uh -huh, last name Budnick, is there a maiden name there or uh, entry one? First name Heidi, middle name Lee, suffix, yes. Provide the date of birth of your former spouse, yes. Uh, place of birth, mm -hmm. country of citizenship, yeah. Uh, place married, mm -hmm. uh, that would be in Kosovo, yes. Uh, the status of the marriage, uh -huh. divorced, provide the date of divorce, Annulment or widowed. Mm -hmm. Now, you would say it was February 13th or was it the 11th? Yes. Because I looked online. Maybe it was the 13th. Poop. What, when was it? Uh, no merit. Provide the last known address of the former spouse. Yeah. Um, what, was it the 11th or the 13th? Yes. Marital. Uh, oh. Looks like something just happened to my fox. It mm -hmm. now uh, homeland security. Yes, mm -hmm. I would say that it violates uh, security right now. National security to allow for any state to dissolve a United Nations marriage. Yeah, and um, since I'm I'm wanting to have custody of my sons. Poop. Are there any employees of homeland security? Mm -hmm. The FBI. Ouch. Now, I know you said, well, we don't have to protect his right to appear in court. Yes. We don't have to protect his rights to father his sons. Yes. But if I can't fill this out with all truthful information that 1001, you're getting sued mm -hmm, for violating the national security of the United States of America. <laughs> now, I'm going to want to have you prosecuted. Yeah. And then I'm going to want to divorce my wife, and I would like to speak to Marilyn about what her housing plans are. <laughs> now, could you do that today? Now, um, a couple other things that I thought I should mention, too, for all of you that are self-employed and employees of the government. Yeah, <laughs> there's a possibility of this umbrella policy. Now... I know that they have certain limitations. You have to have uh, $300,000 on your homeowner's policy and $250,000 on your auto insurance. Yes. But they say that they will sell $500,000. The shovel will go up to $10 million. Yes. And then about $100 million after that. Poof. Am I actually able to get any insurance? Mm -hmm. Let's say I got a vehicle. Yes. Um, 
I might be able to buy a car, but I probably have to have a valid state ID. Yes. But is anything that you've done going to affect my insurance rates or uh, my homeowner's rates or my rate uh, for being able to purchase an umbrella policy? <laughs> Could you get me the background checks of all of those that have purchased any sort of insurance? <laughs> now, I would say, considering my mental illness, my defect and disease, yeah. How many insurers want me to have car insurance when I'm schizophrenic? Yes, bipolar and delusional. <laughs> now, I know there could be a large class action lawsuit about this, but <laughs> just so I know, <clears throat> the arrest record, yes. The detainments, yes. The false imprisonments, ouch. The number of days I spent in jail, yes. Of all of the decision-making of this county, this state, and the United States, is there anything that you had done that would affect my uh, car insurance? Yes. My homeowner's insurance? Yes. My malpractice insurance? Yes. Or my umbrella policy? Because I think there's another $100 billion in this. Yes, there is. <laughs> When you falsify actual court orders so as to be able to arrest me, let's go ahead. And then you uh, fraudulently issue protection orders knowing I was not given any civil rights. Yes. And then you arrested me in May of 2012. Yes. But you continued with the dissolution of marriage where I wasn't able to divorce my wife. Yeah. And I owe all that child support. Yes, he does. I think I can get you for another hundred billion fucking dollars. Now, why don't you get me the background checks of all property casualty? Yes, yes, yes. All the, all, well, you mean I can't get life insurance when I have that many mental illnesses? <laughs> I mean, how many individuals are going to look at it and say, well, Mr. Budnick, you're crazy. You're just flat out crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's documented from professional persons of the state of Washington. <laughs> now, I know. It's possible that I'm going to sue every state of the United States for the knowledge of all the fraud. Yes, because I can't get car insurance, can I? No, no, no. I can't just walk in and say, well, I used to be 30 pounds lighter and I was two inches shorter than I am. I can't just go in and change my address now, can I? It's kind of like I can't buy a residence because I can't have homeowner's insurance. I can't have a business because I can't get actual business insurance. I mean, you really did a number on me, didn't you? I think it's... $300 billion day, or is that $400 billion? <laughs> Why don't you call the FBI? Pooch. Homeland Security? Pooch. All the graduates of the academy? Yeah, because I'm going to sue every one of them. Now, give me my sons. Yes. And allow me to use the courts of this nation and every nation of the world. Could you do that?